If you've been watching our stuff here on the Wootsuit channel for a while, you know it's not a big secret. I really like the West Wing. So much so that my wife bought me the Complete Series gift pack for Christmas a couple years ago. There's something about the show and its, well, quite frankly, pre-9-11 sensibilities that I find really endearing. Even though the show is 20 years old now, I still find regular value in watching it periodically, and every time I re-watch it, I get something a little bit more out of it. Right now, I'm watching Season 2, and early in Season 2, they introduce a new character, a young, attractive Republican lawyer, and there's this one scene where the character, Ainsley, is in the White House Chief of Staff's office, and she's completely bewildered why the President would want her, and the Chief of Staff, Leo, turns to her and he says, quite frankly, that the President likes smart people who disagree with him, and that's why we're hiring you. I heard that line and I was reflecting on my career up until this point. I recently got a promotion at work and it's not because I'm the smartest person, it's not because I'm necessarily the most capable person, but I got a promotion in part because up until this point I've been essentially sitting in the room with a bunch of people who've been smarter than me trying to learn a little bit from them along the way. I find value in recognizing that I'm not perfect, I'm not gonna know everything, and that there's a lot of value if I can be in a room with people smarter than me. That even if they disagree with me, there's something I can learn from it. There's something that what they can say to me, they can expand my worldview, they can expand it. And if I can understand their thinking, if I can understand the values that they bring to the table, it will really help define and it help me to understand their position, it helps me to collaborate with them better, it helps me to understand how we can reach consensus better, and it just opens me up personally to, to expanding myself and my capabilities. If you're not going to be the smartest person or you're not going to be the most knowledgeable person, then I find a lot of value in being in those rooms with people smarter than me so that I can learn and grow and develop through their experience and their example. And if you happen to be the smart person or you happen to be a knowledgeable person, I still find value in getting myself into those rooms with really smart people who also disagree with me because even if you disagree, there's a, a synthesis that comes out of it. You understand their perspectives, you understand their values, you understand the way that they see the world, and that helps you grow and learn and develop as you go. Let's face it, most of the time, I'm not the smartest person in the room. I'm usually wrong about a lot of stuff, but that's okay. As long as you're always willing to keep an open mind, or in my case, keep my mouth shut and my eyes and ears open, that's how I learn to just be a little bit more awesome every day. Thanks for stopping by and stay awesome.